The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. It's pronounced ash hole. You dumb asshole. Excuse me? It's ash hole. You, sir, are an asshole. <laughs> it's ash hole, you idiot. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. For the last time, it's ash holes. Oh, you were right. I'm just your kind of asshole. It's time, once again, for my kind of ash holes on Unfiltered Cigar Radio. And welcome back to the Ash Holes, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. I'm Aaron Noonan, and I'm joined once again by our panel of ash holes, Jessica Fanari, Mike Damari, and Ed Sullivan. Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What's up, Great. Ed? How are you doing over there, Ed? How I'm, can the guys find us, Ed? <laughs> you know what? We're, we're, go, we're going right into we're, that. We're just going to jump in. We're right into that. We're not, no business. Th- this is a, you know, kind of a long read that... Well, frankly, I'm sick of reading it. I think <laughs> the easiest thing is for people to go to unitedpodcastnetwork.tv. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of our old episodes are available there in audio and video. Wow. It'll have some d- directions to subscribe. So yeah. Easy to follow directions? Easy to follow. You can find us by searching for The Ash Holes on Facebook Yep. Or YouTube. Right. Well, We're really, everywhere. You type it in Google anywhere. and it's going to pop up. Yeah. Like it the first sure hundred, you know, are going to list. You know, Make sure you I, spell Ash it right. Podcast. It's pronounced Ash Holes. <laughs> no, you, well, you'll get a different podcast. <laughs> right. And, and a whole different website. I don't know, but you, uh, that's right. a good point. Typos are not encouraged. They are not no. on this case. Most <laughs> times it's You know, Aaron, I, I should believe you. I typed the Ash Holes into the Google. Yep. First things. The Ash Holes. Yeah. Unfiltered cigar, cigar radio. radio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be the first, I think, couple of pages, I think. It goes pretty long oh as long as gosh. you type podcast. All Ash Holes um, on the, the episodes. Time. I, is I, did, I didn't even type podcast. And oh, and it well still came up. Oh, into wow. The second page. It's, like, it's one name. It's like Shea. Mm-hmm. Ash Shea. Holes. Yeah. Although it's two names, it's in a couple, depending on which Ash site. Ash Holes on so. that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they did it right or did it wrong. Depends. Anyways. Yeah. So today we're smoking the As- Asylum Nyctophilia 6x60. It's a TAA exclusive. Kind of been doing a run of TAA exclusives mm-hmm. lately. Well, it's that time of year. You know? So. Uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, they just um, announced a lot of the TAA mm-hmm. releases that are coming out. This one, I believe, is 2015. They, they mm-hmm. decided to release this one here. And it comes from CLE Cigars. It's one of the two brothers of Mr. Julio Aroa of Camacho fame. Um, they both started their own companies. So this would be Christian Aroa. This is Christian Aroa. And um, Tom, Tom Lazuka. Tom Lazuka. Both of them. Yeah. They started mm-hmm. this company and uh, they make some excellent cigars. I mean, Honduran cigars are synonymous with, synonymous with the Aroa family. And, and this one happens to be mostly Nicaraguan. So I'm excited to see how, you know, sometimes those Honduran companies will put a little Honduran spin, mm-hmm. even though they're using Nicaraguan tobacco. So I'm excited to see how this one mm-hmm. yeah, smokes. I, Asylum scars are, they seem almost gimmicky because they do the crazy yeah. size and stuff like yeah. that, but they're, they're solid cigars. You know, they're well, really, I know. I've never been disappointed with an Asylum. So. I've never been a big ring gauge guy ever. Yeah. And one of my first bombs that I received from my friend on, Online, well, a good kind of bomb, not, yeah, we're not a cigar bomb about where somebody sends you a surprise right. package of, of cigars. Exactly. It had an ogre <laughs> in it, and that's the uh, 8x80 yeah. um, yeah. green stripe on it. Same, and same. yeah, it was massive. I was like, this cannot taste good. I'm like, there's <laughs> no way this is, I'm going to get any flavor out of the thing. And I smoked it, and I, I just had you know a long ride because, I mean, that's, that's the only place you can smoke one of those things. It was like two and a half hours worth of smoke. Um, and it was really good. I mean, I was impressed. I'm not usually a Candela guy, and and that kind of changed my mind. I'm like, well, okay, yeah, so they're, it's they're got doing its a little bit extra. Absolutely. Uh, We're yeah. doing a, a 60 ring gauge. 60 ring gauge. Yeah. That's man. usually out of my comfort zone, too. Although it's it's sad that it doesn't feel as big as it used to be because <laughs> no. it's just getting used to the 60s, which. Well, whatever. Asylum, the Nyctophilia actually has a 5x50, a 6x60, yep. and we then go a 7x70. Yeah, <laughs> you'd think that was going to be the easy way. Yeah. But at least we didn't have the 7x70. Cause That's true. You know, I'll tell you what, them. though, feeling just the heft on the cigar, I'm kind of glad that we did go with the 60 because this obviously has some thick tobacco. Yeah, in it, man. you mm-hmm. could club somebody over the head. With oh, this wow. Thing and it's well packed. They wouldn't be happy with you. It's a triple Maduro blend, too, which I assume, I mean, I, maybe different companies use different terms, but I assume it means wrapper, binder, filler, 
all being of Maduro quality, which usually is the higher primings. So well, I mean, the, the name, you know, Nyctophilia is, you know, the love Lover of, the, of dark, the dark, love of the dark. So right. that's that's the whole idea is that that's it's going to be a very dark exactly. cigar. <laughs> and so... It's right. beautiful. Though. I mean, it, it's it's super toothy. Like the outside is, oh, man, it's yeah. braille. It's, it's like braille sandpaper. For, mm. You it's love really, the dark. That's yeah. what it says. You didn't Gritty. Feel that? Sometimes you can't like readily see it. Like if it was in the cellophane and I wasn't feeling the cigar right now, I might not see that it has all that tooth on it. But as soon as you take it out oh, yeah, and put you, it to your lips, it's like a fine grit sandpaper. I mean, you can see it. I mean, it's I'm holding it. Arm mm -hmm. fully extended, yeah. and you can see the bumps. It's, There's it's, so much of it, though. It's, it's almost like that the whole thing. Re it's just really San Andreas, correct? firm pack, yeah. but mm -hmm. the draw on it is perfect. Right. Mm. Yeah. Almost oh. as perfect as you are. Thank you. Wow. Flattery gets you I nowhere. guess I'm a little bit ahead of you guys. You are. You always a little are, bit. though. Well, so I have buttons well. and stuff to work on. So. Yeah, I got yeah. a nice sweetness on the cold draw here, too. Yeah. So, you know, some cigars that we've been having lately and just not much on the cold draw, this definitely has a nice, like, uh, dark cherry type of thing going on right away. It's and, definitely uh, a dark chocolate. Mm. Yeah, yeah, something like an espresso. You can definitely pick something up off the cold draw, which, it, it, you know, to me, I don't necessarily always get what I get off the cold draw once I light it, but... It's an almond dark chocolate. Okay. Nice. Almond I dark chocolate. You. Okay. It is. It's legit like an almond dark chocolate to me. It's Nicaraguan tobacco. Nicaraguan tobacco. And I've actually got a little uh, pepper sting in my nose just from the cold draw, which is a little really? odd. Really? Yeah. Mm. A little unusual. Sensitive nose over there, Aaron. Yeah, well, it's finely tuned. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say this. Whenever you're you're smoking... I'm a control freak, so I like a, a single jet flame lighter so I can kind of navigate it where I want. I can yeah, and take four hours to write a single, <laughs> single I'm uh, yeah, 60 you, ring gauge. Yeah. <laughs> a 60 ring gauge is about as big as you can go with a single jet flame and not well, That's why all your cry. fluid's gone. You, you know, you I can still burn you that. with it, honey. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Well, Jess, sometimes you do smoke those dainty lady cigars. Sometimes. I like them. <laughs> I, I like little do. cigars. I, yeah. I typically will smoke them. I don't mind a bigger one occasionally, right. but it's... I multitask. Like when I'm smoking, I, I want to yeah. have my cigar. I want to be able to do everything sure. else with it. Now I've noticed that it's hard for me to sit still when I'm smoking. Because I'm like, okay, what can I be doing? What can I be? It's <laughs> right. weird. Yeah. So the same family that she she usually likes uh, the brother's um, cigar, one of the smaller mm -hmm. ones. Now we're smoking the other Aroa Brothers cigar. It seems like when you meet any Aroa, they're the mm. nicest people. Oh, they really are. Yeah. Christian, awesome. I saw him, what was a couple months ago? He walks in. I don't know how that man looks fantastic, even just in a t-shirt. He looks like he's dressed up he's in a t-shirt. <laughs> it's probably a... Four hundred dollars t shirt. <laughs> he, he knew he knew he remembered my first name and he'd only seen me a couple years before and he was so, so sweet. Like Mm. He knows his way around a cigar, and his personality is just fantastic. Mm. Yeah. And to be fair, you're the only woman in the store. I was going to so say, she's pretty <laughs> It's kind of easy to remember. She is pretty people, memorable. People tend to remember your name. Yeah. Every yes. third girl that's born in my year is Jessica, so. Yeah, I mean. It does narrow it down. Yeah. Yeah, it's a popular name. Yeah, anybody watching knows, oh, it's Jess and those other guys, yeah, whatever right. their name is. I don't know about that. I haven't had a single customer walk in and be like, hey, Mike, it's always hey, Jess, today, <laughs> yeah, yeah. all day long. And like, I'm standing Honey, prominently at the, at the window. Years, if you work anywhere for six years, you're going to know people. And I love right, the guys who true. come in here. And it's not yeah. uncommon to hug them, no, talk to them, it. know well, about their lives. I get that. Mike, it goes a step further than that. Yeah. In the days when Jess isn't working, they oh. walk in and say, where's Jess? <laughs> right. Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's Jess? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a cigar. I'm like, hey, that's what I do, too. So uh, I, I can kind of show Wait, you. Who are you? Why are you talking to me? I smoke cigars, too. I can give you a good good recommendation. I've smoked them, too. Ah, oh, no, but Jess knows what I smoke. I'm like, so do I. We have this thing called a computer, and I can tell what you picked out last time. I'll get you something good. Ah, oh, well. And then to sell it, I said, oh, Jess likes this, too. And it's all like about it. Like it. Just don't fib. Yeah, it's not really, you know, same thing happens in Nashua, too. Every time somebody walks in, hey, Freddie. Hey. And Freddie's like, oh, hey, how's it going? And walk right by me after. It's mm -hmm. not like I um, should be sad or anything about it, but it just is, is what it is. This is a much more subtle flavor than I was anticipating. It is. I was expecting like a real pepper bomb, but it's got right. some sweetness to it. That's what I'm saying. Nice I kind earthiness. Of, yeah, I kind of expected. I feel like that is the Honduran version of the Nicaraguan going on there. Like I was expecting <laughs> okay. straight up pepper and it's got that sweetness that I expect out of a Honduran When cigar. you roll it over your tongue, I've noticed it hits every every taste bud. Some hitch in the back, some hitch in the front. This one is a full mouth kind of feel. It's very well rounded. Um, mm -hmm. I agree. I, I had kind of thought this was going to be, I, I like the Robusto size, which I guess seems a little bit stronger to me, but this is, this is lovely. 
Yeah, I like I like you know on on this one here it allows a little bit more air in. The smoke's going to be a little cooler because mm -hmm. it's a uh, you know bigger ring gauge cigar. Yep. And sometimes with those thicker tobaccos, if you burn them a little too hot, they tend to have a tendency to get really bitter really quickly. Um, so I think we'll probably be benefited by having a larger ring gauge on this cigar. Pea pods. Um, pea pods. Chinese pea pods. No. No. I, I taste pea pods. Pea pods. Huh? I don't have them enough to have a reference on that. Yeah, I don't know. Fresh like, pea I'd, pods I couldn't Ed Sullivan. Pick fresh pea pods right. out in the line. <gasps> <gasps> line up. Well, I, today. I sort of get what you mean. Ah, Ed Sullivan. And uh, they're not Chinese necessarily. They're just pea pods. Fresh. Just pea pods, right? Kind of green, beautiful. Not like in like a... a no, because they're earthy. <coughs> yes. Yeah, they yeah. have a. they tend to have a vegetal taste with just a mm -hmm. hint mm -hmm. of bitterness to them. Hmm. This is yeah. I, I really it. like this. I can I relate to that. It's a great balance. Hint of bitterness, at least. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a super bitter person, honey. <laughs> so maybe I'm missing that. I usually get a little bit more spice off of a San Andreas wrapped cigar. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting right off the bat, but not to say it won't come. I think mm. the San Andreas is just it's perfect on a cigar. I don't know why, but just that little bit of dirty, earthy kind of. <laughs> right. <laughs> just a little bit of dirty. It's it funny. really does make yeah. me very happy. <laughs> a little dirty. <laughs> it does make me very. I have. To, I have to tell you guys. So when people come in and look for the cigar, I cannot tell you how many people say. <laughs> necrophilia. Necrophilia. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm the key. I'm gonna have a necrophilia. I'm like, oh no, no, you don't. You don't. But don't. That's what Pete calls him out back. Like when and he I, asked me to go what, around. What do you say? This isn't the funeral parlor. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't even go that far. I said, oh, necrophilia. I've uh, got you. So yeah. you never make people feel weird. You just kind of gently ease uh, them. Look, just if the they're into that, they're already weird. So <laughs> I just like yeah. to assume they're not because I have to shake their hand and say goodbye. <laughs> so. But excellent. I actually don't mind this 60. I don't know about you guys, but it's not as unpleasant no. feeling mm. as I thought it would be. Mm -mm. I'm not happy with a 60. Yeah. You prefer like a two. Right? A two. Yeah. <laughs> Something where you no, don't even have to open your mouth. It and, took me yeah. a long time to adjust even up to a 50. Mm -hmm. yep. So even a 52 now is really pushing it for It's awkward. Me. Yeah. Is it? Because for me, it's mostly a hand thing because mm. I, I gesture a lot. I talk a lot. And when I'm, I'm moving time. with something... Like this, I feel like I have to hold it because I don't want it to fly out and maybe mm. burn somebody. But I also <laughs> feel on a cigar like this, it gives you more of like, a, you know, distinguish, you know, when you give the hand motion. It's, it's authority. Hand, it is. It's authority. When cigar. you open a cigar like this at somebody, somebody has to back up a little bit because they don't want to get hit with the, the big cherry on it too. It points something yeah, out. Yeah, I, I think bit. part of that, Hashtag. you know, you definitely, you see this cigar, like it's not oh, going, yeah. going under the radar. So no. it, it looks like what people think of a cigar. Their the band is line. quite lovely as well. If you look at it, it's like a scary little skull with a shield and then angel wings, I think. Yeah. Yep. Or like raven wings. Yeah, yeah angel kind of wings. Yep. I'm actually going to just do a little research. Yeah, it's probably raven wings. I get yeah, a little I, fellow. <laughs> I, I don't know where you get an angel coming out of a skull. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Fallen angel type of deal. kind of. Maybe like, that's what they look like. You never met one. Does I like his little single you know? tooth in the middle. It's like Tom Cruise on a cigar. <laughs> Man, I'm not like an ornithologist. Is that is that the bird? Ornithologist? I think so. Yeah. Wow. I'm not one of those, so I wouldn't oh, be able to tell you what, kind of like, oh. <laughs> what, what exactly that, bird that would be. But Aaron, that seemed to catch you by surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did a little bit. He's like, That's a much bigger word than I thought you could come up with. I'm telling you, it's not a word of the day, Cal. <laughs> Hold on. If Einstein had my accent, no one would know about the theory of relativity. Accents make a big difference. 100%. Like English accent, you sound smart. Australian accent. My buddy Tom Minty so was smart. here the other day. Exactly. He was <laughs> here the other day for the event. And Boston accent. Yeah, same thing with though. the deep southern accent, too. I feel like Boston mm. and a deep southern accent get about the same amount of um, yeah, st street cred. <laughs> right. Same lack of respect. Same lack of respect yeah, yeah. for intelligence, which is kind of cool when I like typing you know, online because you, you do it in text and you can actually tell if the person is intelligent or not. If if they use the right <laughs> form of the word your, things oh. like that, those little grammatical yeah. I mean, things. if that's your standard. <laughs> no, no, not really, but that's the only way to communicate. And then when people actually hear me talk, they're like, this is weird now because every time I see you type something, I'm saying it in my head in a Boston accent. The like, burn buddy, line was, is excellent. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah, it's <laughs> sharp. For, for something that's this thick as tobacco, usually you don't have such a razor sharp It'll burn a little bit weird because, you know, these higher priming tobaccos typically have a combustion issue, which is why, you know, a lot of times they mix them in with some, some lower primings to for combustion. But that with it being pretty. a tripical, uh, tr tripical, <laughs> with a triple Maduro, you get those really thick tobaccos and sometimes they burn a little uneven. So it, I, I always think 
it's a person's responsibility smoking a cigar to make sure they do everything they can to make sure it's an enjoyable experience for them. So if they allow the cigar to canoe all the way down to half and then they're like, oh, I had all these burn issues, you could have like, you, you you really fixed that. Right, right away. <laughs> it's or, probably your lighting issue too. To oh, get 100%. That and there's so many times where I'll see a construction issue posted and I do a lot of stuff on those cigar groups. Construction issues are overplayed. Most oh, yeah. of the time, it's a storage issue. A lot user of issue. <laughs> user issue. I mean, not user saying error. it's all the time. Yeah. I mean, the natural handmade products, it'll happen. Mm -hmm. But you just got to do what you can to minimize your impact on on the smoking experience and and just properly lighting a cigar. Also Ooh. having a lighter handy in case it starts to go a little weird. Um, you know, keeping it nice and sharp will allow you to smoke it better. Once it starts going a little off, you start to pick up. Different flavors. You're yeah. getting too much wrapper versus well, filler. You want the right ratio. Yeah, and also if you're you're puffing too hard, too fast, you mm -hmm. know that'll affect your burn as well. Yeah, Steve um, Saka gave us a good one about that. Sorry, I didn't so interrupt. So yeah. I'm picking up a flavor that I never go with, okay. oh. but I'm going to say it this right. time: leather. Okay. I almost never. I, I always pick on people for saying leather. It's like, well, when are you chewing on leather stuff like that? But <laughs> no, it's this is definitely a leather flavor in there. It is there. Yeah. Leather pea pods. Leather. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I actually, I really like this. I, I like this. It is, it is picking up in strength a little bit. At least for me, I'm about, I'm about a half, maybe to three quarters of an inch in, and it did change slightly. I'm not really mm. getting the chocolate as much anymore. It's more yep. transition to an earthier kind of like vegetal, I like that word, mm. leather. Well, but it's I pleasant. That. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Vegetal leather <laughs> gives you a little tickle in the nose. This, I like this is gonna burn a long. Yeah. Time. It is. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah, <laughs> you can definitely tell. I it's like that. I mean, I think too. when it because you, you're feeling the cigar and it does feel firm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are concerned when they feel a oh, firm hard. cigar. They say, "Oh, it's not gonna draw." With no. with a company. <laughs> I mean, like Asylum, you don't really have to worry. They pack it well, so it holds mm -hmm. true to shape. It's never going to look a little wonky on the outside. Right. But it's it's rolled well. It's no, constructed it's, so that it takes a They've been in this game forever. It's sturdy. This would be sturdy. a good outdoor I one. Like it. Go golfing or right. mm -hmm. if you're outside for a barbecue Walk or something. Yeah. Sure. And, oh, yeah. and, you know, with how thick this uh, wrapper leaf is, it could probably be hollow and still would feel firm. <laughs> 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 it's so hardy. That's 100% true. And I, I agree with what something Ed Sullivan said before. What? Maduros do relight better too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, mm -hmm. you know, something outside. If you put it down, sometimes, you know, when you light a Connecticut shade back up, you really start to taste a little bit of ashiness. But on this one here with the thick tobaccos and the strong flavors so, in there. A good work cigar here work because cigar. usually, mm -hmm. you know, you get distracted, they go out. So yeah. you yep. do end up relighting right. more I often at work. Yeah, driving, whatever. I need to be conscious of what my day is looking like before I light up anything because yeah. I've wasted some really good cigars. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just, made that mistake too. You yeah. light up a, a nice Byron oh, and then it's time to do inventory. That. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. that is staying in my I've mouth. I've lost it. That is one of them. You do not put that down. Yeah. 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 The Fair first enough. time I smoked the Grand Poema Byron, I wouldn't let people talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. You were ruining the experience. I, I, I was working and I lit it up for the first time. And I would. I was. People were coming in. I'm like, "Don't talk to me." They're like, "What? You never say this." And I'm like, "Come here, smoke this." And then you're sitting right next to me, puffing away, and we're like, "Just don't talk to us, customers." <laughs> in I a thought, line. Yeah, I thought that cigar was going to cost me a chance of having this job, honestly, because I was <laughs> I was in a meeting for, with my with Dave for this job, and uh, Oliver walked in and handed me a Byron. I think it was the Aristocrates, and he sat there, and I had all these things prepared to talk to Dave about the cigar or about you know how I would be good for the company. And I sat there just staring at the cigar like in amazement. You know how like if you get a puff and it's really mm -hmm. good, yep. and sometimes you sit there and you're like staring at the cigar like how did it just do that? Like I didn't get that before and all yeah. of a sudden. And I don't think I talked to Dave for like 10 minutes. I sat there and smoked the cigar. Just like, awkward. That probably helps you. Awkward. You know, it just it proved to him that you can shut up. Like, and so that helped you, helped you out. Wow, Aaron. Cool. That's how we're going to go. Jonathan's not here today. So yeah. I figured oh. I was going to get away. Ding, ding, ding. Wow. Oh, All right. Well, with that, let's this. go to a break. Uh, so when we get back, we will continue our thoughts on the <laughs> Asylum Nyctophilia. And Aaron might be dead. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head, and value, value, value. There is a Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian, and here are just a few. 
Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five-year-old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well-aged long filler leaves. So, what should you expect from a bohemian? A departure from the conventional. A flavorful journey into a sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take the journey. Stay tuned for more of The Ash Holes on the United Podcast Network. Stepping into the aging room has a new meaning at Aging Room Cigars, as Rafael Nodal has traveled to Spain, where the idea for Aging Room Solera was born. The Solera method of aging has been used for centuries in the making of wine, sherry, brandy, and rum. The method mixes different vintages, allowing them to age together. For Aging Room Solera, Rafael takes several tobacco vintages and puts them in bales, where they age together for another 12 to 18 months. This allows the tobaccos to marry for a longer period of time. At the end of the aging process, Aging Room Solera becomes a balanced, and complex cigar with a fantastic price point. Aging Room Solera, it will have you calling for an encore. When was the last time you experienced something for the first time? Curiosity drives discovery. Discover exceptional tobaccos aged to perfection with Balmoral Inejo XO. Born from passionate curiosity, Balmoral invites you to discover the optimal balance of sophisticated complexity and smoothness. Each meticulously crafted, extensively aged Añejo XO cigar blend is the result of a relentlessly global search for the top 5% of select premium tobaccos available, including our exclusive signature Brazilian Mata Norte. Crowned with a sun-grown Brazilian Arapiaca wrapper, Balmoral Añejo XO embraces your palate with complex notes of cedar, cacao, and peppery spices that finish with a smooth, underlying, natural sweetness. We invite you to discover and experience Balmoral Añejo XO today. Davidoff Cigars celebrates 50 years of heritage, pioneering, and innovative cigar making in the spirit of the man who gave the company its name, Zeno Davidoff. To mark the 50th anniversary, Davidoff has dressed a selection of five iconic Davidoff cigars with a 50th commemorative white ring for a limited time. One of our best sellers, Anniversario Special R, begins with notes of freshly cut wood, spice, and sweet cream. The aroma is creamy and leathery with spicy undertones. Experience the exquisite aroma and carefully balanced blend of tobaccos that ensures the most important times are beautifully filled. Available at appointed Davidoff retailers around the world. And welcome back to the Ash Holes. You can follow us and maybe be our friend on Facebook or follow us at Twitter at the Ash Holes or on Instagram at Ash Holes Radio. Uh, we're smoking the Asylum Nyctophilia. You can't be my friend anymore. <laughs> Not after that last comment. I'm still carrying it over. We've nice. had a commercial break. We've needed a mad. grudge on the you show. Know what? That's yeah. fine. Yeah, I you mean, know what? get true over it. Ash holes, you know, you true. Ash holes. Yeah, it's all in good fun. Yeah, uh, I'm really impressed with the cigar so far. It's mm-hmm. it's yeah. not what I was expecting. It's a lot more balanced. Uh, I agree. Really enjoying the flavor so far. It reminds me very much of like um, I smoke a lot of the La Giana Maduro, so I'm getting a lot of that old kind of camacho flavor. Mm. Um, the San Andreas is is nice because it adds that nice little um, spice through the nose and a little tingle. But it does have a Honduran type of kick to it where it's giving you that nice sweetness, like, um, like a really dried cherry type of sweetness that's left on the palate. Mm. I like it. It's not a clean finish, but what's left on your palate is nice. You know, you know what I was thinking? What? You should probably move your mic up <laughs> a little. Why thing. am I too yeah. too low? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not an expert at this. Yeah, listen, ah, there we are. All right, how's that? Much yeah. better. A little low it's talk, a little Barry White. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Getting very sexy. It's it's really nice. I I'm surprised too. And unlike last week, I uh, didn't write my tasting notes before I smoked that's, the cigar. That's probably a good idea. Right. So I, I I had let's see, San Andreas wrapper. I had Nicaraguan fillers. I had an idea based on what I smoked what this was going to be like. And I'm glad I didn't write those down because wow. this is nothing like He's that. He's getting mm-hmm. better at this. Yeah. I would say so. Hey. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? We got uh, some audience members for the first time in a while. 
Some of our very dear friends who are lining up for a hug. (laughs) (laughs) So everybody knows your name. No. I dig it. I I really do. (laughs) I I like overall and that little bit of um, like effervescence, like a uh, soda or something when you're going through the nose. Mm. It's not too too bad. It's not like you take your first sip of a ginger ale and your eyes start to water. It's more mild than that, but you still get a little bit of that. On it does top. have kind of an interesting mouthfeel. Definitely. It's, it's kind of a, a, it's a bubble. tingle on your tongue. Yep. Almost, but yeah. this, is, this is the kind of cigar, and this is the one that I would say after a long day, you come home, you want to smoke something. You've already been competing with food sure. and drink. Mm-hmm. You have a nice steak dinner. You sit down outside, and in the summer, just enjoy the nighttime. Oh, this would be perfect with steak. See? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. With a little bit of pepper on top, a little bit mm-hmm. of butter, rock mm-hmm. and roll. I could do that. Pepper and butter. Pepper and, Pepe and butter. butter. I love it. <laughs> it's not on a pop tart ad, but <laughs> oh, it's good. Can we still have it? I can actually see this. I mean, on a summer night, you want just something mm. that's that's going to keep up with your day because you can't really smoke something mild if you've already had a couple of cigars during the day. You've eaten, you've you've had a drink or two. Yep, it won't this stand, up, stand up, up to it. Yeah, but this one, I think the flavor is going to lend itself to a lot of different things, like the grill flavor. Mm-hmm. This is a summer night to me. Mm-hmm. I yeah. agree. It's definitely yeah, complimentary on a lot of things. Summer. Um, as nice. far as, you know, oh, yeah. when you're smoking this, you, you can like, pair it with a lot of things. burnt ends <sighs> with a oh, sweet yeah. barbecue sauce mm-hmm. on Say it, it slow, honey. <laughs> that barbecue sauce, I feel like I almost get a little bit of that sweetness. Oh, I can see that. Do you know what I mean? That. Like mm-hmm. after you take a bite of something with barbecue sauce on it, like a nice rib like that's been charred a little, maybe a little bit too much. And when you know, the barbecue sauce gets a little caramelized. And caught in your mustache, and, and then you and smoke it. <laughs> <Just a little laughs> something. No, you <laughs> I mean, you said it too. earlier, like joking around, and I really did have something, oh, that really little white did. thing. Oh, you know, and I went in the bathroom, like she was not joking. I would <laughs> never. <laughs> having this on my face all That's day. That's what I do. That's fine. All right. Well, let's uh, do our top five. Oh, I'm ready. All right. Aloha. Today's Aloha. top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals the perfect 10, and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a Five Five cigar is two of them, so you can share with a friend. And now, here's today's top five list. So today, I figured we'd go with the theme. Nick Dephelia, love of the nighttime, the mm-hmm. dark. Where is it dark? A movie theater. <laughs> well, yeah. I would hope so. Yeah. Highest grossing movies of all time. Okay. Now, yeah. this, See how many I've seen. <laughs> oh, you've probably seen them all. I mean, these are like, uh, these are ones I, that it, you couldn't have. Bet I haven't. I probably, you may have not. Well, you might have in the them. background. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. But the number five is Jurassic World, the one that came out in Great 2015. Movie. I've seen that. Wait, that was awesome. Great. The world one? Yeah, Jurassic World. Jurassic that, World. Not, Jurassic not, not the Lost World. No. Jurassic okay. World. No, there's Jurassic, oh, okay. no, the Lost World was a different one. I will one. say That's... Jurassic Park holds up. Yeah, it does. I yeah. watched it recently. Oh, it yeah. holds up. I saw no Jurassics. There were dinosaurs, maybe? Something a few. Like that. Yeah, there was, no. it was just a, a side you know, plot. I yes. believe I read the book, really. but no. that probably Michael doesn't Michael Crichton, I own it. Didn't yeah. they write Lost World? Great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So Jurassic World, okay. which I thought was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four is Avengers Infinity Wars. Okay, Good yep. Movie. Definitely seen that. New one's coming out. I think Another everybody is seeing Very that excited movie, about right? the next I, I didn't game. see that. <laughs> you didn't yeah. see that. Ed Sullivan, you're, you're an enigma. You're Avengers? Is that that old British TV show? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, specifically <laughs> that. Actually, there's a movie, too. They made <laughs> yeah. back in the 90s, I think it was. Yeah. Of, oh, that's the, the one Avengers. that always pops up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number three. Specifically, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I think Star, everybody really? yeah. <laughs> was. There's a lot of wars in this, so yeah, yeah. everybody didn't, was didn't excited. Big it. franchises. Yeah. I, I only saw the first one. Yeah, the the original. Like the three? original first, yeah. or are you the, talking about like no the, origi- okay. the, the or, original? Okay, the original one <laughs> okay. made, New which Hope. I okay. guess turned out not to be the first. I don't. I, I couldn't. I follow feel like it. this list might not account for <laughs> inflation because <laughs> those Star Wars movies and movies used to be way more popular back in the day. So, yeah, no, you know I think. What I, mean? I think people are just spending more money on movie theaters well, nowadays. Because they cost more. A hundred percent. It's not a yeah. cheap date anymore to oh, go to the movies. Try about. So, I think like, even with inflation, these n- these numbers are are real. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. Never mind the snacks. Oh Jeez. gosh. Well, that's the only way that you just make money. In. But yeah. you got to smuggle argument. them in in like pockets. You look like a creep <laughs> yeah. walking in. Mm-hmm. Anyways, what's number two? Number two is not surprisingly Titanic. That one stayed something that almost everybody has seen. I have not seen it. Seriously, really? dude? I, I have not seen it. I have no reason to see it. Why would I? Don't I know what I know the boat sinks. Don't. Um, yeah, this really just ruined it for everybody. <laughs> it's not like it actually happened. Oh, I actually read on the internet somebody thought, oh, I didn't 
it didn't happen in real life. That was a movie. Don't be stupid. I'm like, <laughs> oh. like well, speaking like, of which, right. it's like Jurassic World. Steven Spielberg had a picture of himself next to a Triceratops, the one that's dead in Jurassic yeah. Park, and somebody was giving him crap because they thought he was a big game hunter that took down this animal. I'm like, dude, that so thing's uh, I'm hoping a book, people. Yeah, from no. the it's not even from the Jurassic. All right, so number one. Horrible. I love that so much. Ready for it? It's going to be Avatar. Mm. Another one I have. That seen. one. Look at your face, Ed. Yeah. That one was kind of. You fun. didn't see any of the I, top five grossing movies of all time. I, not a single one. I, I saw part of that Titanic thing, and I, I couldn't wait for that boat to sink. Those people were not <laughs> Just, people that it. I wanted to see. Come on, iceberg. You know no. who I thought was the hero in Titanic, though, is the the captain. He, oh. I love him. I love. He's in I the Orville now. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the guys that played the instruments and then no. ended up hitting every step on the way Ooh. down when the boat started to sink. Oh, God. That was happened? it Captain Steubing? Captain know. Phillips. He was the Captain one. Phillips. Different, he was, different boat I'm the captain What's the guy's now? name who plays him? I don't know. He's, uh, he's like this, this amazing actor, and he was the captain. I'm like, I know him. I know that guy. Hmm. Don't movie. die. He did. Not to like ruin it for you, but everybody's seen Titanic. Right, right, the boat sinks. I haven't seen that, boat and I haven't seen sinks. Avatar. I heard it's, hey, just, it's basically um, Pocahontas in space. It is. It's uh, no, it's more like Fern Gully. Either, but, so it's like no Fern why. Gully. <laughs> or, I loved Fern Gully. Right. And that's Avatar, if you Price think about it. Prune juice, I right? thought Avatars were those little cartoony things on the computer. Technically, you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, I know what you I mean. I think that, it, isn't that playing on that? Because they're like putting their minds into a alien, right? So in, in their place. Yeah. So I guess the, I thought the that was cool. title like holds up. I went, yeah. I went to a whole Comic-Con thing when that thing first came out and you every, were dressed in blue no i, I went, was a normal <laughs> no person, not dressed but, oh, all body but paint. everybody was in one of those things everybody oh, wanted yeah. to be one of those characters and stuff uh, and a couple of them the horse things navi yeah. navi yeah bernard hill i love him yeah that's he, that's what you're talking about though yeah. he's such a good actor i believe it's him. the beard it's the immaculate trimmed white beard <laughs> he looks so distinguished i agree are we talking that's about the list. same person i don't know yeah the captain the one that says oh i'm going down even though he was the one that wasn't paying attention and ran him into a don't you iceberg. blame him I, I mean who else do you blame the guy don't that's driving him. right he's driving the ship there's an iceberg right. <laughs> iceberg dead ahead move the other way somehow yeah, yeah. He's it's never. I don't think he's slow ever, down. I, like, what do you call it, Captain the Boat? Listen, I, I no, nah, but I've <laughs> heard, I've heard stories. I watch the Science Channel a lot, so the they death. go down Science, in, yeah. and really, it was the guy that made the steal who was the crap. issue. Yeah, the guy that said, Did "Not you even know God Bill can Bill Astor, Astor, right? right? Yeah, John Astor, <laughs> I, I think know. was his name. Oh, yeah, and that's no. the guy that ended up causing all the problems because it was so weak. And nope, different guy. Out. The guy who built the boat, Victor Gaba. Oh, Gaba. Around. It was a good movie, and and totally deserving. Yeah, legit. Yeah, yeah I still, I'm still people. not gonna watch it. It was well, it it's was well acted. Three hours it was too, exciting. Crazy yeah. long. It's forever yeah, but long. But it's worth it. Yeah, this uh, is different. I'm the of king it. of the world. You I mean, are. That's, that's about, so you saw it more uh, or less. A little part. I mean, they showed that one all the time, wasn't he? In the front of the boat, sure. waving. Oh yeah, arm. everybody's yeah. done parodies of that. So. Uh, yeah, it's like I could reference the movie like anybody <laughs> right. else because I've seen all the parodies. You know the major scenes. That's all that matters. The boat still stinks. And just so you know, the parodies were all better than the movie. I would hope so. Yeah. Listen, that's a great list. Just saying, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know that's how it would be turning out. No, because I figured there'd be some older movies back when you know going to the movies used to be more of a um, common occurrence. A yeah, I mean, I haven't been to the movies in a long time. Movies cost a lot of money. So yeah, that's why I haven't been to the movies. Saying. I don't have time anyway. But a lot more money spent wait, on like wait, advertising and stuff like that for movies nowadays. Wait too. a minute, what are you doing that you don't have time? Driving this to or me. from work? This is a, a family show, Ed. Oh right. So let's not. I have a. I commute about two and a half hours every day. That's a long drive. Total. Mm -hmm. Not not all in one shot, you know. An hour and fifteen here, an hour and fifteen mm -hmm. back. Yeah, work eight hours. Eight yeah. hours in between. Usually show up about a half an hour early anyway. So that's usually about three quarters of the day right there. Yeah. So. This is oddly sad. What and me? my life? Yeah. <laughs> my life. <laughs> However, Thanks, Ed. <laughs> I think it's time to rate the cigar. Uh, all right, agree, yes. <laughs> all right. Let's start with somebody else other than me all this right. time, so I, I can. I'll start get if you want. Do it. Okay. I, I think I've made no secret of the fact that I'm not a fan of the 60. Right. Mm -hmm. But yep, this blend really is quite good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go, and part of it is the 60 reflection. I'm going to go 88 on this cigar. It's a very okay. solid. Cigar. For you, it's very solid, definitely. Uh, I'm enjoying the flavors very much. Mm -hmm. uh, ring gauge, it's not really bothering me that much, which no. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go with a 89. 
89. It's, it's pleasantly surprised by sure. the flavors. Uh, really enjoying the, the balance of it. I gave it a 92. Okay. Wow. I like the flavors in it. I, I can actually see it. I can put a situation for when I would smoke this again. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even mind that it's 60. If I'm, if I'm relaxing, what, by relaxing, I mean doing home stuff while I'm smoking this because <laughs> I'm an adult and I can smoke in my house. Wow. I can do that. Do what I want. Nobody tells me what to do. Um, I think solid 92. I'm happy with it. That's a good score. I know. That's a good score. Um, I'm going to be in the 90s as well. I'm just kind of trying to decide. I'm going to go... 90 straight up 90 straight up 90 so on that uh, yeah i really like the flavors on this um i don't feel like so far it's overwhelming strength wise so you know my problem is i work eight hours and i smoke usually the entire time mm -hmm. so i need something that's going to deliver a lot of flavor but yeah. not necessarily beat me up all the way with nicotine right. and it's mm -hmm. not just that you work eight hours you commute an hour and 15 right and i minutes, smoke on the way and then you work eight and then you commute an hour and 15 minutes. right mm -hmm. right so all together on a Given day, I'm right around 10 cigars if I'm mm. doing things right or average day. Yeah, speaking of strength, yeah. uh, I'd put this maybe medium plus. Yeah, yeah it's not yeah. like, no, you know, I yeah. think that's right. in the teeth or anything. It's that's fair. Right off first light, I thought it was going to be definitely a little mm. bit heavier, and especially the heft in your hands. And usually, when you get some higher primings and you hear triple Maduro and all those things are coming together, you're getting worried that maybe it'll be too much. It's not. It's really not. Yeah. I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. For something it. named Asylum, I feel like these are very sanely blended. Like this <laughs> yeah. is no, there's thought. Yeah, this has got a lot of thought put into it. It's it's got enough to keep you interested, but it's not enough to blow your palate out. Mm -hmm. So I could smoke something comfortably after this and taste everything, mm -hmm. yeah. which is nice for me. Yeah. Yeah, and I, in the 60, it's it's amazing, but it, it, it just feels like a normal Toro to me. So I'd like to mention that the the hmm, our, our combined scores added up to a, a little bit of a fraction at the end, so I'm bumping it up to a 90. It's 89.5. Okay, that's fair. Rounding so I up. ended up being right. Are you happy with that? You, that's how I did that. Let's change it the end, I just did the math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how it works. I'm comfortable with it. I actually really yeah. enjoyed this. Yeah, if anybody wants to get these, we sell them. We do. Um, two guys cigars dot com. Eight sixty nine for a single in shop and one ninety one ninety nine for a box, which is fun to say if you want to try that. One ninety one ninety nine. <laughs> That's and a box of twenty two. It is a twenty five count box. Twenty five. Yes, right. sir. Oh, excellent. Wow. That's a nice little yeah. mm, savings then on the box count. Right. I believe you. Uh, you should. I probably should have checked. You should. You probably <laughs> should. It's a delicious have. cigar. I'm really, I'm really surprised I haven't. Patty had this doesn't before. stop at twenty. Patty goes to twenty five. I like most of what the Aroas have been putting out. Lately. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I think if Christians either, name, either side of the family, yeah, yeah. right, <laughs> or either yeah. brother. Really. So it's funny because Jre is Julio and Justo. Yeah. I wonder if Christian, if his name began with a J, would he be part of Jre too, well, or would he? C L E. So right. I mean, is it because his first name is C? I don't know. But the <laughs> Tom Lazuka Christian Aroa did a wonderful job with Good this. Job, mm -hmm. nice. Again, it's happy. a it's a TAA exclusive. So if you're looking for it, find it at a TAA mm -hmm. retailer. Yeah. Um, brick and mortar is the way to go anyway. You, you know, can also get these get at the number twoguyscigars.com. Yeah. So if you're if you're not close enough to get to us and you do want to try these, just the website or you can call one eight 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 two cigar 2 and yeah. talk to the guys. Start with something racy. Like when they answer the phone, be like, hey, sexy, can <laughs> yeah. I have some cigars? I feel like that would go really well. Just Although they might call you back goes. then. You know, yeah, but like Pete, Pete always yeah. has, Pete's the guy that usually <laughs> picks all of the stuff and Pete so has sorry. a fun time pronouncing this name. <laughs> every time that he gets an order for it too. So you'll be making Pete's day. So if you're going to order, you at least order a single of this. So he, oh, can, yeah. he can tell me <laughs> to go get the something else. Bar that's not Nick to feel. Barry like. may take something the illegal. order and he does the asylum yeah. segment on mm -hmm. that does. other cigar podcast. He does that other that one. That song is catchy. It's in it there for like good. It. So we're not going to go into <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. But we'll go into this one well, before they come to take us away. Uh, <laughs> so you've been listening to the Assholes broadcasting live from the Studio Twenty One Podcast Cafe. Please download us and share this episode or any episode at the of the Assholes from United Podcast Network TV. Ooh, so fancy. See you next week. Bye, guys. Bang, guys. And opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.